This video contains strong language which some viewers may find offensive. So if you're a Sally sensitive, you might want to fuck right off. Right, all the men. New project. Or addendum to the last project. If you recall, we recently finished up this stair spindle slash gate yoke. And I found them quite nice. Let's see if I can zoom in without making a balls of it. Hmm. Yeah, I found that motif quite nice. So I decided, I wonder, as I usually do, where else that would suit? And I said, fuck it. Sure, would it look good in a scroll? Well, there's only one way to fucking find out, isn't there? So... Zoom out. Yeah, look at that. F fuck you, Steven Spiel who? Uh, so that's what the motif looks like in an S-scroll. And uh, it looks... It looks alright. I mean, it's a bloody expensive scroll. But... I set these two down on the same side. So, the next C-scroll I'm going to make, it's not a C-scroll, it's an S-scroll, you dumbass. The next S-scroll, I'm going to offset them. So I'm going to have one set down here and one set down here. That way, the arches and the tapers can, uh, can flow with it a little bit better. So, it's not really a project, it's more of... I wonder what that will look like. So, forge is going... Oh, that's the hot part. These are 14 millimeters apart, or any e uh, half an inch plus an eighth, which is five eighths ish, very ish. So I'm going to set this one down on this side. Ah, oh, you take cunt. And this one down on this side. And then we're going to get our. This is just uh, 16 by 5 and we're going to forge weld them onto the ends to make our tapers because when I was doing the stair spindle gate joke they took an awful long time to draw out and I've sort of kind of improved the process so it doesn't take as long so uh, as I said boys uh, the fire is red I'll bring you back when she's hot. This is what's going to be doing all the work. I'm going to hot cut about 20 mil up here and then use that to form our scarf. Might even be a bit less, we'll have to see. It's a surprise. That looks about right. Okay, 
We're just going to scarf both sides and uh, prep the two bits of flat for the arms and then forge weld them on. We'll see you in a bit, lads. These are upset the, uh, the same way you do the forge welded reins for tongs. Just a little bit more mass, just to account for the forge weld and the blend. So yeah, scarf these and get ready to forge weld. What the fuck we asked all yesterday? Uh, oh yeah, that fucking escrow. Uh, this is where we left off yesterday evening. We have our 16 square, which has offset set downs, and they've been forge welded onto our legs. Nice, invisible forge welds. My kind of shit. So, what we're going to do today is finish it. Thanks be to God. We're going to come in, let's put it this way if I can. Can you zoom in anymore? No, yeah, fucking useless prick. Uh, come in two mil from this edge and butcher down. And come in two mil from that edge and butcher down. And we should have our decorative finial in the middle, somewhat in the middle anyway. Um, we're gonna just taper the ends of these, scroll them up, uh, wire wheel it and linseed oil it. So the forge is going, boys. I'll bring you back when she's hot.
Right, just got to forge a taper on the ends, scroll them up. Very in the fucking way, that's all I can say about you lads. And that's the pre-form of our scroll. Right, next plan of action. Have to pre-radius it. You have to pre-radius steel when you're scrolling it. It's much easier to scroll into a radius than it is to radius into a scroll. Trust me, I make a lot of fucking scrolls. It's just easier. Plus, when it's pre-radiused and you have to do some tweaking to get it to fit, you don't end up with little kink marks because the steel is radiused. It, 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 it tends to move a little bit better and you don't end up with really awkward 50 pence P-shaped scrolls. I know that mightn't really apply in America. Do they even have a odd shaped coin. I ah, give a fuck. So yeah, we're going to use our discount Hosfed bender and just... Where are you? Where are you just put a light pre-radius. Nothing particular, just enough to bend the steel and make it more manipulatable. Man manipulatable. That's a word. It's a word now. When she's hot. When we pull it around the larger scroll former. So yeah. Pay attention. Just every half inch, just give it a tweak. Just a simple pre-radius. We'll tighten it up, neaten it up when we have the top end scrolled to finish dimension, or size anyway. Go on, I'll bring you back for the scroll. of a fucking tripod and his gangly bastard legs and it's got to do that to the opposite side now and then Tweak these so it all sort of flows together. You'll see. 
I'm not going to show you scroll on the opposite side because it's exactly the same as the first side with the equivalent amount of cursing involved too. So I'll bring you back for tweaking it up. I've got some chat vision. So yeah, I've an old sort of a scrolling jig set up on the old anvil because all my tools are set for inch. The new baby is inch and a quarter and they spin which is not exactly conducive to doing this. So I'm just going to tweak the scroll where I think it needs it to bring it in line and then wire wheel it and var uh, varnish it, fucking uh, wax it up and we can have a look at it. Right. My scrolling jigs are fairly good, so there's very, usually very little. When I zoom out, so jeez, I hate the fucking zoom. Uh, so uh, my scrolling jigs are fairly good, so there's uh, seldom very little tweaking to be done. But uh, that just sort of. Right, wire wheel it, and. Uh, Wax it up and be done with this. I'm not sure. Will I show you the wire wheel and it's it's fucking wire wheel and it's noisy and boring. Ah fuck! I show you a bit. Of it. Gotta get that ten minute ad revenue pull out. Waxy. Little bit of smoke is good. Too much smoke, bad. Right. I'll get a cloth, wipe off the excess, and we can have a chat about it. Well, you're very welcome back, lads. So here we are. End of the day. Uh, well, well, it's the second end of the day. Complicated story. Uh, this is the scroll we made yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, I made it off camera because reasons. So uh, this is what we started out with. This was based off of our stair spindle gate joke. And uh, the main idea is just the discovery of where this motif might look good. It looks good in a scroll, so we've established that. But I, I, I set them down on the same side, which, again, going off the stair spindle gate joke, it turned out all right. And it'd be grand for a C scroll. If this scroll were to scroll up this way, it should be, it should be clutch. But I made it into an S scroll, and it follows the sweep perfectly on this one. Not so much in this one. These are also hand forged scrolls, which is why they're tighter and look nicer. Just in case anyone worries about the comparison. This off, bro. This is what we got done today. You can see that our set downs are offset and they flow into the scroll much better than. Yeah. 
It just looks a bit bockety, so it does. Not my cup of tea. So yeah. Uh, the scroll isn't half as tight as the hand forged one, but when you're using jigs, you never get them tight. You just get them to look right. Because, you know, if you have 200 of these to make, you're making a fucking jig, trust me. Unless you're a glutton for punishment. Or unless it's a restoration, in which case they have to be. Neither here nor there. You make a jig. Everyone's made a jig. Blacksmiths 400 years ago, they made jigs. No one's got time for pulling a fucking scroll around the horn of an anvil. Fuck that shit. Anyway, so... As far as scrolls go, she's up there. Nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, don't exactly know where you would use it, because it's an expensive scroll. It's a very time-consuming scroll and uh, quite a nice little delicate scroll. It has to be of a certain size. Putting this in a small C scroll would break your fucking heart. Like a like a six inch scroll or something like that. Oh God, that'd be fucking nightmarish. So uh, I'm gonna hang it up on the wall and we'll have it for future reference in case we ever decide we need something fancy. This is what we have. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that lads. Uh, new project coming soon. So. Pay attention, and uh, we'll all learn something together. Go on, we'll talk to you later, boys. Good luck.